Okay, so it's 5.15 p.m. And, um, certainly she missed class probably today. Um, but that's okay. It's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but what are you going to do? Dimpa your dish. Dimpa your dish. I'm going to just get, let her do all of her homework. Tomorrow she has... She does have class at 8 a.m. and she has class for violin and country music. So certainly she would need to up her violin skills. And last I checked, she should have a violin in her inventory. She sure does. So she will need to practice that violin. You know, university, school, her books, that is Tasha's first love. Like, mm -hmm. she might dress <laughs> how she dress, dresses. She might have tattoos and piercings and like to be wild and crazy. And she might even like older men. But Tasha has always loved school. She's loved learning. Um, that's why she has a genius trait. She just loves learning and she definitely is one of those people who will get more than one degree. So if we do more than one degree with Tasha, don't even be surprised. Because Tasha is just that kind of chick. Like, that's why she wants to be a scientist. She just wants to learn and be able to make breakthroughs and discover new things all the time. Um, trash receptacles in the outside area because that's going to be a problem look at all this laundry who's going to do the laundry and if you do one thing of laundry is he going to do everybody's laundry is that a pile of laundry Let's see we need to get out of here y'all remind me dr dogger is definitely um advertising for students to come and live with him so she might take her little 36,000 and go live with Dr. Dogger especially because she wants to get a little bit closer to him just to be close to you Dr. Dogger y'all don't mind me I'm gonna be singing randomly also because I'm one of those people then when I hear a part of a song, I have to sing the whole song. So excuse me for that. Cute. Okay, she got just enough time to have a nap. Look at that, y'all. 7.51, 7.53, and her nap is done before it's time for her to go to class. That's perfect. You cannot get on that right now because... You need to go to class. That's right. Off to class you go. Go, Tasha. First day of class. This is not the first day of class. This is, it should be the second day of class. But I missed the first day of class because I was with the street twins and everybody else. Okay, she is cute in this um this fro and these shorts. I, I guess these people have class with me. Tasha is off to class, so I'm going to have her take notes while she is in class. Um, I think that is what you're supposed to do. I know that you can also listen attentively, uh, which give oh, active, I said listen attentively, same thing. Actively listen, uh, that increases the skill gain. So for this one, that would make my violin skill go up. Uh, Orion, and, oh, roommate's boyfriend. Where you live at, though? You kind of cute. I'm not trying to steal nobody's man, but listen. He's cute. Hey. All right. Uh, if y'all break up, well, then again, you know, Tasha does like older men, so he's not quite old enough for her. Tasha's looking for a grown man, like a man with some gray, some salt and pepper in his beard. <laughs> so, yeah, um, as I was saying about the class stuff, um, yeah, she, I think it just, it's best to take notes 
Um, I know that you can also actively listen, but I think I'll just have her do that. I mean, she's got a final exam and she's got a term paper, so I'm actually going to have her do her term paper. Oh, it's Friday, too. Today is Friday. This is so annoying to me, y'all. It's so many radios on. I just want them all to be off. I blame whoever put all these radios inside of this build. You should know that's the first thing the Sims always like to do. Turn on the radio. Oh, here it is. It's nobody even in this room. Shut up, please. Somebody is in the room and he's asleep. Get this paper done. Go to class. After class. They didn't even give me a notification that my class starts in an hour. Mm. Um, Want to meet new people. Oh, she should. Oh, I do want her to join a um an organization. Let me take a look really quickly at the organizations. I'm thinking about her joining the Brainiacs. Because, um, I mean, she could join the, the Bot Savants as well. But wait, what do the Brainiacs actually do? Yeah, so I definitely want her to join the Brainiacs. And they are having an event tonight at 8 p.m., from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. So I'm going to have her go to that. So that's definitely another reason why she needs to have her paper done, her term paper done, so she can go to the Brainiacs bar night. So let's see. It's time for class. Go on to class. Go to class, girl. Thank you. All right, so Tasha's going to class. Um, Tasha wears her risque outfits wherever. She does not care. She is a very free spirit. Her mind speaks for her, so. All right, let me have her take notes. Her mind speaks for her. I know um, I was definitely one of those people who was just like, oh no, don't dress like this because people are gonna think this. Don't dress like that because people are gonna think. Let me tell you something. People are gonna think whatever they wanna think no matter how you're dressed. You can dress the way everybody loves and they still want to talk about you. You can dress the way everybody hates and they still want to talk about you. So at the end of the day, what matters is your happiness. And if you are doing what is right uh, for yourself and for your soul. So um, Tasha is just a manifestation of that part of me. That part of me that wishes that I could have just been like, you know what? I do want to wear this. Um, I do want to do this. I do want to say this. Um, I want to be these things that um, people don't think are good, and I really don't care. It's not really about just like being reckless. It's more so about, well, this is bringing me happiness, and I don't need your judgment. So Tasha's back from class. She knows what she wants to do. So she does have homework that is due. She has class again on Monday at 8 a.m. So it's Friday, 5.13 the first thing she definitely wants to do is to finish her term paper. Even if it's not going to be the best version of it, she wants to make sure that it's at least finished. Oh my gosh, who is going to clean this? Who is going to clean this? Uh, Y'all, who's going to clean that? Who's going to do laundry? How does laundry work? She doesn't even have time. Okay, look. You got an hour. Finish up your homework. Uh, let's speed this up. There we go. I got to cheat these things. I don't have time for it. I don't really care. Come on, Tasha, Tasha. It's time to go to the thing. 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 The Brainiacs is having the thing. Who who should we should we invite somebody with us? Who do we not like that? Oh Lilith. We used to be friends with Lilith. Ooh. Let's ask Dr. Dogger to come. We'll invite Angela too. Angela's cool. I don't remember. Oh yes. 
she has some cute party outfits. I just remembered. Okay, so let's have her put on this. Uh, she just, you know, um, she can't dis she can't brag about her glad her grades yet. She don't even have no grades yet. Okay, let's have him ask about career. Let's pretend she doesn't know. Um, share astronomy knowledge. I'm sure they would get along with that. Who's this? Makai Ro Oh, shoot. He's married, y'all. Like, what's up? Um, I was definitely thinking about you. Okay. Y'all, see what I'm saying? I did not do that. I don't recall doing the Stargaze thing, but it's happening. Oh, they look so cute, guys. Tasha definitely met Dr. Dogger and just thought he was, she just thought he was attractive. She was just like, whoa, he's young, but he's older, but he's extremely smart. I mean, he was funny. Almost everything about him, she just really was feeling him. So it's hard for her to ignore how she's feeling about him. So... I'm going to have her compliment his appearance because he is looking good and looking cute. And I'm also going to have her flirt a little bit with him. Um, This is going on a really long time, guys. Do you think I could possibly cancel this because it's 1015 and she still has to meet people on the in Brainiac so she can like, oh... Ooh. Oh, he likes it, guys. He's with it. Dr. Dogger is with it. And don't forget that Dr. Dogger is definitely ready to settle down. And all he really wants is, like, a really smart, incredibly intelligent, beautiful woman um, like Tasha. So even though she's a university student and he's a university professor, he's feeling like, I mean, she's of age. Yeah, she started college late, but Tasha's 22 years old. She's not a baby. She can definitely date um, a professor that's 35. Maybe they can just hug. It's about an hour left in the mixer. So we really need to meet people in uh, the Brainiacs. So I'll just have her. Oh, they hugged. Oh, I wanted them to take a picture too, but this is not a date. So maybe um, when they have their first date, if he asks her out on a date. Oh, crap. Okay, so here's a Brainiac, Maureen Denton. Uh, let's have a friendly introduction with her. Um, one of the other Brainiacs has already left, actually. Oh, here's... Oh, there's still some left here. Yes, thank God. Okay, Eduardo Ch uh, Chavez. Hey, okay, Dr. Dogger is gone. Goodbye. At a nightclub. Okay, that's fine. Sweetie, I need you to talk to these people. Dag, dag. So she's already met Maureen. So maybe she can ask Maureen straight up, like, hey, can I join the Brainiacs? I am definitely skilled. Like, don't let my outfit fool you. I like tattoos and I like looking cute, but I know physics. I know mathematical equations. Are you willing to take me in? Uh, okay. Maybe I'll... What? Be flirted with. Don't flirt with her. She's not interested. Yo, is everybody leaving? Do not let everybody leave. Somebody needs to let her into the Brainiacs. Alright, well... She missed her chance because she didn't have enough time for all of the glitches that occur in this game. Yeah, I said it. Let's keep it real. Definitely said she was going to go out after this. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I hate when my sims do this. Like, they act like kids, and they're just like, oh, my God, I can't stand this. And it's like, bro, what is your problem? So let's have her go to the club. Who's going to come to the club with her? Lilith, you better bring your ass. Oops, sorry, guys. I didn't mean to cuss. 
Um, Angela, come through. Tracy, I don't even know if we've really talked to you, but just come through. Aya, your name sounds like my real name, so yeah. Maureen, I need to get to know you better since you're in Brainiac, so come through. I don't know who's coming in that, but I'm inviting... Not everyone can come. Maureen is sleeping. Lilith is sleeping. Tracy is sleeping. Aya is sleeping. So pretty much Angela is the only one who's up, which is fine. Angela is the only down. D-A-B. All right. So Angela is here with us. Um, what are you minusing $11? She's so annoying. What did you just go buy? BLT sandwich. Like, but did you have to buy that? It's fine. I mean, she has money. Drink, order favorite drink. Let's see what her favorite drink is. I like to do this. See, I said I was going to have her play basketball, but I was just joking. She did it on her own, y'all. I didn't do that. Y'all saw me. I didn't do that. Um, She was like, well, shoot. Mine as well. Let me change her outfit real quick. Girl, don't come over here and embarrass me at the club. Like, why you got on your sports outfit? I mean, y'all got to... I don't even know why there is a... What is this? I probably called it a bowling alley. I don't know why there is a basketball court at the club. So, is it really my fault? Ask yourself that question. Why do you have the basketball court? Then ask me why I'm in my sports gear. What are your favorite drinks so we can find out what it is? Because I'm so nosy. $89? Oh, I think I do know her favorite drink. I think it's the Flamin' B-52 or whatever. Flamin' whatever. Um, Yeah, I think I did find that out while I was playing. So I did play with um, Tasha for a while um, before showing you all the save file. Because I just wanted her to have... A lot of skills and as you all can see she's definitely acquired a lot of skills don't worry about how so yes her favorite drink is definitely the flame flaming, flaming b52 which I find um, so interesting because it's super expensive she doesn't want to be in a, what where okay but what are you doing though well if you're going to do this okay this is definitely the type of person um, Tasha is. I'm gonna go to the club in my clubbiest outfit, but I'm also going to randomly start editing my paper in the middle of the club if it's boring, because why not? So I'm gonna let her do this because she decided to do it, and I just feel like well, she decided to pull out her laptop, and I just feel like she should do something productive. So, I'm going to let her edit her paper, which is going to be really helpful. So, when she gets home now, she can go work out. And then she can study for the rest of the afternoon. And uh, maybe she can call Dr. Dogger and see if she can go visit him or something and ask for some tips. I've got this assignment uh, for this class. I know you've taught it before at least once or twice in your many years <laughs> as she's so in love with the fact that he's definitely a professor and he has several degrees. I don't know if we've gone through how many degrees Dr. Docker has, but he has several um, distinguished degrees with honors. So I don't know why um, Angela followed us, nor why she all of a sudden just changed into one of her summer outfits. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's just weird and kind of awkward that that happened like that. But um, <laughs> it's fine. Um, I have her use portable computer, and she's gonna do that to university university coursework term paper. It's outstanding. So she's gonna go ahead and submit that now. Get it out the way. Then she's gonna. You heard I became friends with him, girl. Wait till you. Wait till I become more than friends with him. I'm finna go over his house this evening. So let's pretend that um, 
let's make it so Dr. Dogger just said, you know, anytime you want to come over, um, I have a place, I have a, a room available. I have two, well, three rooms actually available. So, you know, if you're interested, you know, you can come by and see them anytime. She also kind of wants to get with him. Like, she's... She's super attracted to him. Like, I don't know how to explain it. She feels like, um, yeah, risk it all. I don't care if people call me a hoe. I don't care if people say, um, what's wrong with her. He's everything she wants in a man. Um, he's older. He's intelligent. Um, that's, he's good looking. He's funny. She does know that eventually one day she's going to want to get have. Uh, a kid and when she does have a kid she would like it to be with someone who is like her equal someone who has um, as much love and dedication to education as she does so again don't be fooled by the tattoos don't be fooled by the Gucci well done Tasha thank you so I'm gonna have her travel now she's gonna go ahead and um, She's going to go to his house. Like, straight up. Like, really boldly, like, on some, hey, you said you had something open? Um, just want to see what it looks like. Okay. It's time to kind of make a move a little bit. Because um, we are about to be pretty bold with what we're about to do. So, let's knock on the door. It seems as if he's home. She's playing the violin outside his house for whatever reason. Ma'am, if you don't mind, thank you. All right, so we're here at the professor's house. We're knocking on the door. Oh, my gosh. She said, come in. Okay, where is he? How was your day today? Um, did you get any grading and stuff done? Oh, Why do they both do the same thing at the same time? That's kind of weird. That should mean that. Oh, your day was good. Oh, oh, that was so cute. So I'm gonna have them flirt a bit. Ha ha ha! Ooh. So so. So so. Like, listen, I really don't want to waste any more time. Right. Um, making you think it's going to be anything else different. Zuba like, uh, I'm with it, and uh, I'm trying to get with you. So Have her flirt a bit more. Like, I came here to talk to you, but I really came here to tell you that I am feeling you, and I'm feeling the way you look, man. Yeah, the tweed jacket, yeah. it's everything, man. Ooh, what you about to do? What you about to do? What you about to do? I'm, I'm gonna do confess attraction and see what happens. I think he's cool with it. He's cool with it. Yo, just like this. Like, let's do a sexy pose. All right. Um, I think he should ask her on a date before. Okay, let's ask if he's single first. I think she he should ask her on a date before she asks him to be her boyfriend. Like, clearly, I know I'm going to have to be the one to do it unless I am... Oh, the romance festival is in town. Fuema Sharma. Oh, yo, yo. Dr. Rahim is single. I mean, I knew that. I think I've confessed the attraction already, but I gotta let you know, like, I know you're looking at me like I'm a young girl, but I'm definitely down with what you're, what you're talking about. This whole look, it's, it's doing it for me. Um, Hunter wants to go to the romance festival. I think we're gonna skip going with him. Um, he, yeah, I, I feel like he should ask her out. So, um, since he hasn't done that, she is just going to go to the romance festival and take him along with her. All right, so here we are. Oh, it's hot out, so 
Okay, well, that's fine. They can wear these outfits. Um, let's have them both have some of that tea. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, pour Sakura tea together. All right, well, let's get some wisdom from Miss... Um, <laughs> Miss, I know your destiny. Let's see if this thing is going to work out for them. Or if she's going to find a new boo while she's in university. Because she just wants to be like, I really like this older guy. And I need to know if I should pursue him. He's really everything I want in a man. Even though people may not like it. And he really makes me like hot. So what do you think? So lady is just like... Well, I hear your story. And love is often found in a place you least accept. What? Love is often found in a place you least expect to look. And she definitely wasn't looking for love when she came to university. Just school. And so now, it's awkward. And that's definitely feeling like it's talking about Dr. Dogger, right? Yeah. Dr. Dogger might be the one. Especially since he's feeling it. Uh-oh. What's happened? Anyway, let's go back over to our boo. And uh, let's... Uh, joke about getting together like she's about to go in because for real for real she doesn't even have condoms now she can't um have sex with him right now because he doesn't have condoms and she doesn't either so she's like um i want to but i'm gonna hold myself i heard describe a flirty dream like you know ever since the day i saw you at orientation i've been dreaming about you you've been in my dreams it seems like i just keep seeing your face everywhere so when i saw you at geek con even though you were in costume it was just so crazy to me he's like wow it's so interesting do you like baseball going home the festival's over technically um i'm gonna have her go home and uh i'll end this part right here and i will see you guys next time for university love thank you all so much those of you who are seeing this thank you all so much for joining me i'm at the very beginning stages of my youtube career uh i'm just doing this because i love it i have so many save files again that i love and i just want to share with people who are going to be interested in it so as much as i see people comment on other videos uh and and put in their input i know someone someone might be invested in what i have to do so uh i just want to share um that's what i'm here to do so i'll see you guys here uh, next time for Queen Sims World. Bye bye.